Hi everyone, thanks for joining in. I hope you're all doing great and a very warm welcome to another episode. So Prince Harry has been so so busy that it's almost hard to catch up with everything he's doing but this is good. And one thing that I love most about Harry is how he's so dedicated to his work. Well, both Prince Harry and Meghan are so dedicated to the work they are doing. And do you actually know that uh, during the New York visit, within a period of 72 hours, Prince Harry attended seven events. Can you imagine that? Seven events in a period of 72 hours. That was so amazing. And the majority of the events that Harry attended were charities that he is involved in. I'm just loving this era and I love that Harry is having a wonderful time uh, doing the work that he loves to do and that is helping people. And you know, uh, one of the most exciting news that I have for you right now is Harry taking Southern Africa. So... It's being said that Prince Harry's latest philanthropic move will gather world business leaders and philanthropists to work towards fostering prosperity in Southern African communities specifically focused on young people. In early October, Harry's charity organization Sentebale, which he co-founded with Prince Seiso of Lesotho in 2006, will bring together leaders from Google's charitable arm and several other companies and organizations for a series of meetings and discussions in Lesotho and Johannesburg. So we are going to see Prince Harry in Lesotho and Johannesburg in October. Honestly, I can't wait for this. And if you don't know, Johannesburg is located in South Africa. And uh, South Africa is a whole country by itself, while Lesotho is also a country by itself. So I'm just loving um, this for Harry. I love that he is doing the work that he loves to do. And Sentebale has actually been so helpful to these young children who are living with HIV and AIDS. And it was so thoughtful of Harry and Prince Seiso to come up with this um, organization. And you see this beautiful picture of Harry that was taken on his visit to New York. This person who's laughing is a Gianni Marostica, who's the managing director of global business development at Google. And it now seems like they will be working together to bring change in South Africa, in Southern Africa. This is so amazing. And it's also said that the gathering will be Harry's first time visit, visiting Southern Africa since 2019. He's been devoted to philanthropic work in the region in honoring of his late mother, Princess Diana, the Duke of Sussex, and the leaders will partner with local organizations and companies that are already actively brainstorming solutions to the roadblocks in place for young people in the region to succeed. Harry said in a news release that the organization has developed a profound understanding of local youth, their passions, their concerns, and their extraordinary creativity through their extensive work in the area and their long-standing relationships with local communities. Quoting, these young adults are eager and capable of driving meaningful change, yet significant barriers still stand in their way. His statement continued, noting Sentebale is nearing its 20th anniversary. This is so good. Honestly, I can't believe that it's almost 20 years now since Sentebale was founded, so it will be 20 years in 2026. What Harry is doing is actually amazing work. Can you name one of Prince William's uh, projects which has become so successful as Harry's? I remember Prince William telling Prince Harry that Africa belongs to me. But what exactly has William actually done in Africa? Honestly, I don't see anything. But I see a lot of work that Prince Harry has done to help people in Africa. And it seems like 
they are expanding which is so good to watch so thank you very much harry and may you continue to be blessed and apparently while the organization was initially established to help children and young people in lesotho and botswana affected by hiv and aids it now works to establish solutions to broader problems impacting youth in the region like health issues wealth inequity and climate the organization's name means forget me not uh, forget me not in the sesotho language and the princess established the charity in memory of their late mothers this is so sweet of harry and prince isa and they've been actively involved in sentebale harry has also been playing polo to help raise funds for this charity and him together with Prince Seiso have become like brothers. He even appeared in Harry and Meghan's documentary and he was saying a lot of nice things about Harry. And also in a recent event in which they were both in attendance in New York, Prince Seiso had a lot of good things to say about Harry. His work and his uh, his achievements and his dedication to helping these young people of Sentebale. So thank you very much Harry and everyone is seeing the good work that you are doing. May you continue doing it and may you continue being this global prince because you are already the good work that you're doing is what is making you a global prince. And we all love you so much for uh, what you're doing and we appreciate you helping so many people. Well, I don't know if Megan is going to accompany him to Southern Africa and Lesotho, but I really hope she does. But if she doesn't, we're still going to understand because all this is Harry's work. This is Prince Harry's initiatives, just the same way as he did. Uh, he, go, he went to New York for the initiatives that he's involved in but still it will be good uh, seeing Harry in Africa and I really can't wait so with that said let me leave it at that and you can leave your comments on what you think about Harry's upcoming visit to uh, Southern Africa and I'll see you all next time have a wonderful and amazing amazing time bye